Dear students, have a nice day. Let us back to our political science chapter. In the last class, we have discussed some important facts about the constitution and its design work. Where we studied about many important contributions made by our freedom fighters and the countries outside. Situations around the world also had its own contributions and influence on our constitution. So today we are going to complete our chapter. And also today we need to discuss about the thoughts or the philosophies of our national freedom fighters that also had its own influence on our constitution. Every time while we are talking about constitution, we are hearing or regularly we are using some personal names just like B.R. Ambedkar, Dr. Yajendra Prasad, then Johar Lalyangru, Sarojini Naidu or many hundreds of such national freedom fighters name will be added to the uh, list of uh, workers or the drafting committee members or the other committee members of our constitution. But we didn't mention a name that is an important figure of our national freedom movement also about our nationalism that is Gandhiji. Nowhere else we use his name in the framework of constitution but all what is our constitution is present is because of his thoughts, ideologies and the philosophy that he already spread across our country and the philosophies of Gandhiji also had its own influence on the constitution because as he wrote numbers of books and also he conducted number of pro, uh, different programs in India and also conducted number of other um, different satyagrahas etc. here, every of the activities of Gandhiji had its own impact and influence on our India's future. The most important ideas of Gandhiji that he spread in India and across the world was mainly through the satyagrahas or the other important political activities in India here. Other than his activities or the spreading of his policies through the uh, presence of his own in front of people, he wrote lots of books also. Through that books also, Gandhi expressed whatever ideology that he had in his mind about a country, especially about India in future. Such a book is uh, Young India that he published in 1931. Through that book, one of the important idea or aspect that he put forward to the country, it's mainly about a policy or an idea of equality, where he used some terms just like a country or he is working for a country that might or must give a chance for the uh, poor people to think that they are living in their own country. That means there is no any chance for uh, a thought of up and downs in the country or haves and have nots. Where he also used one another term that a country must not think about a idea of untouchability. That means another form of inequality. So through all his activities and all through the books that he published, he uh, spread an idea of equality must follow in our country wherever or whenever we are getting freedom. There should not be no poor or no any lower class um, people or no any such problems. Everyone must feel a kind of equality in, fr in front of uh, law and everywhere. And it must be a country with the political or social or economic freedom and equal status for all. And also mentioned one another thing that wherever poor people are suffering from a lot, it must be the duty of the government to support them to uplift their condition. So one of the important value that our constitution put forward and upholding every time is equality before law for all. And there should not be no any kind of ill feeling or inferiority complex for anybody else. And we have one another great person he is the leader and also the chairman of the drafting con committee con uh, of constitution. That is everybody know that Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. And we know that he himself was a member from the lower, lower section or from a caste which have already faced untouchability. So he also being a victim of forced problems in his own life, he also included such terms just like people must feel equality before law. But he already identified one thing that in a country just like India or everywhere, political equality can be assured. 
through voting system. Everyone is uh, equal before law during that time. There is no any up and downs. Everyone's uh, vote is equal and all vote will be having one value. So political equality can be assured. But one another problem that he faced is that how the society can feel social and economic equality. Because the resources are not equally distributed and the opportunities for people also are not equally distributed. So, political equality can be assured in a country, but we need to find out solutions for the social or economic equality. Anyway, the most important idea already put forward by B.R. Ambedkar also related to equality. Our constitution starts with a preamble. And the architect of the preamble of Indian constitution is Jawaharlal Nehru. He prepared and presented a objective resolution, an objective resolution in front of our constituent assembly in 1946, December 13. Later in time, this uh, cons, uh, objective resolution is prepared and presented by Jawaharlal Nehru considered as the preamble of our Indian constitution. And having a preamble for a constitution is an idea that we got from USA. They have a, such a preamble for their constitution and many other constitutions also have the same preamble. And in the con uh, preamble of our constitution, some important terms, that is the values of Indians and the constitution is included. The constitution of India included lots of values and terms. All such important key terms and values are already written in the preamble of our constitution. Just like freedom, equality, fraternity, justice, etc. Our constitution starts with the term, we, the people of India. See, that shows the full spirit of being Indians. And it gives full freedom and also a feeling of nationalism and unity among all sections of our country. There is no any term that we Indians with the upper level or having education etc. A term itself is clearly shown that we, the people of India, that shows the whole equal status for all Indian citizens. And it is continuously, it is also used the word just like our country, experiences in sovereign. Sovereign means having full freedom for India, uh, for our own country to take internal and external decisions without having no any outsiders and their support. And our country is socialist where it ensures social equality and it's also democratic, republic. All such key words related to our country is included in the preamble of our constitution itself. Such an important, such an uh, incredible preamble that our India has. Our Indian constitution came into effect on 26th January 1950. It was the day on which the India government recognized our constitution. When it came into effect, it contained 395, that is 395 articles, 8 schedules and 12 parts. But as situations or situations changed, especially economically or educationally or socially or uh, scientifically, etc., some of the situations were not sued according to the provisions given in the constitution. So, as we know that Indian constitution is flexible. That means which allow modification according to uh, the serious demands of the country or the uh, population or the citizen itself. It modified many times and presently instead of 395 articles, its um, number is increased into 448 articles are the present because some new additions uh, came according to changes that happened in the total society of India. And instead of 8 schedules early, presently it had 12 schedules are there, 400. 48 articles, 12 schedules and 25 parts are there for the current or for our constitution currently. That means whenever situations, whenever portions of the constitutions are not much suitable for the present condition, our constitutional frameworkers already give such a provision in the constitution to change it accordingly. 
So, it is not an easy procedure to change the constitution as we are making changes in our notebooks or anywhere. It is a procedure needed majority support of our parliament or our elected leaders. Or else, if persons are going and changing according to their personal will or uh, if any state uh, leaders also are going and making their changes, it will not be an important or a valid document later. That's why constitution already recognized or already specified that majority support of the representatives selected by people required for the amendment that is changing some provisions either addition or deletion of the words or sentences of constitution. Making changes in the constitution is termed as amendment. So, lots of amendments started happen in constitution of India according to the time demands. So, anyhow, presently, Indian constitution is the largest written constitution in the world, which assures every important freedom for its citizen. And constitution is the uh, protector of the citizens' rights and freedoms, especially the fundamental rights of citizens. So, such a written constitution is required for every country so world where they are for following democratic ideologies. So, our country also has such a greatest, better and also a uh, most important constitution for the world which makes and assures every Indian citizen to feel equal and also and also have their uh, chances to express their ideas or views in their own way without, without hurting others and also it gives equal chances for to get justice without having no any uh, no any upper or lower section so everything is secure and also protected by constitution for its uh, citizen that's why even after all these years of continuous experience of having a constitution for india we are still following our constitution without having no any serious modifications every or the loopholes and also the aspirations in future also is added into constitution in the early of its framework itself such great leaders we had all their thoughts and values or their philosophy or also ideologies etc added to our constitution to make it the greatest and also the best one in the world so we have discussed our most important points related to our constitution and we can conclude our lesson now we will meet in the next day class with another topic so, study well. Thank you. Have a nice day.